It is a beautiful day for some DSA and welcome back to the Cozy Club, my friends. My name is Cozy Gamer and happy raid day. If you're watching this the day this video goes live, today is the day that we get access to conquer, to vanquish, to go through the forbidden deaths, the new raid within DSA. And if you make it through with your club and you beat the heroic tier or make your way through the milestones, you will be rewarded with ursula my friends and she is looking amazing in today's video we're gonna be going over ursula's sneak peek of her kit we don't have access to her nor will we for quite some time if you guys want to know the basics of how the raid works go ahead and check out the video up above and tomorrow i'm gonna have a gameplay unveiling alongside the abilities and to match those up all week we've got raid content heck probably all month we've got great raid content for you and i'm excited because trust me my friends she is looking absolutely devastating so just in case you guys do not know ursula again is the reward character for the upcoming raids you cannot purchase her you cannot just go out and get her you've got to earn her with your club alongside your club mates to get the powerful sea witch let's jump on over take a look at her abilities and what she can do in game Now, first of all, my friends, Ursula is going to be an offense character. She's a villain, obviously. Oceanic, we probably knew that was going to come. I mean, some thought it could be mythicals. And the Little Mermaid tag to boot. Not much significance with the Little Mermaid tag outside of inside of raids. She's going to be phenomenal under King Triton lead. That's way down the line. As of now, let's go ahead. Let's check out her kit all together and see what she can do. She has an astonishing seven abilities. That's correct. Seven abilities guys so many different things she's got a basic she's got a couple specials and then so many passives elite to boot let's check out each one how it's gonna be and what i think it's gonna pair well with again she's not gonna be farmable through normal measures okay she's only gonna be accessible after several months i won't have my hands on her probably if i'm guessing until probably late december if not early january at the earliest it's gonna take some time for us to get used to how raids work and then we're gonna have to beat the heroic raid and get pretty dang good at it to boot but guys this is a character that's gonna be well worth it i can already tell you cozy club She's easily the best character that we're going to have in the game. I don't care. Elsa, Baymax, doesn't matter. Ursula is going to shut them down and make others around her insanely good. Now, it's she's going to be a legendary character. We know that. But let's go check out her uh, abilities. Let's start with her basic ability being undoing. Deal up to, and you can just go ahead and ignore that damage. We don't know. That's our best guess and what has been pulled. But deal up to, let's say, 4K damage to the target opponent. She's going to be doing 30% chance to steal 10% turn meter. We're going to get to that in a second. And if this ability deers a critical strike, guaranteed to steal speed turn meter. Guys, and then if she's in power, she's going to repeat this ability against the target opponent. So a couple of things to point out right away. She's going to steal speed turn meter. She's not going to remove it. She's going to steal it, giving it back to herself. Uh, kind of what Maui has in his first ability. Also, she's going to be empowered a lot. So throughout this whole kit, trust me, it's not like Hades. It's not like Mordu. She'll be empowered most of the battle, just not to start. And if she has tactics with her, she's always going to be stealing that turn meter. Also, she's going to get huge benefits from assist. And we're going to take a look at that later on as well. Also, just taking a quick peek at her sea witch rain the leadership that comes with her she is giving all oceanic teammates four percent bonus crit power villain teammates are going to gain 17 bonus offense and oceanic villains will gain both of these i mean obviously you've got oceanic villains they're obviously going to get both of these so her lead is insane it's going to make a lot of characters we're going to get to that at the end of the video but it's going to bring a lot of characters way up here in the tier list and how well they perform all together but that basic attack stealing the turn meter is going to be great especially with heroes that call to assist like barley and it even gets more crazy as we go along let's go ahead and let's check out the next set of her abilities starting with her first ability a little magic that's going to be her special A. She's going to deal up to, let's say, 7,000 damage. We shall see to the target opponent. She'll be inflicting some continuous damage, and it'll be more continuous damage. If she's empowered, she's going to also be doing more damage to shield users, which we know 
obviously guys that shields are all over the place here in dsa so she'll be doing some tremendous damage against hero and his friends guys and th that's just the very beginning of what ursula can do and so those first two abilities will be great one thing i want to know is t5 is going to take 100 or sorry star 5 is going to take 145 shards to unlock which to be honest star is not going to matter too much with ursula a lot of what she does yes her damage is great and she'll die a little bit easier however a lot of her mechanics is really just support she does a lot of different things like removing speed turn meter and applying silence as she starts her turn which we'll get to in a hot minute as well so star matter uh, star level is not going to count much and also t7 is great t8 is not going to be as vital as some other characters that we see there's some characters with some phenomenal t8 abilities and that's gonna be a long ways off but ursula will be great at t7 right out the gate you don't have to get her to t8 and that's something that i'm personally excited about all right cozy club let's jump on over to her next ability poor unfortunate soul or souls whichever one you want to say this ability is unavoidable first of all that's great and also has a hundred percent bonus potency uh one thing about that we're going to be doing a tenacity and a potency video here in just a little bit i'll be talking about the new changes with everything that happened in the 14.0 update but this ability will purge two random helpful effects from the target opponent and put polymorph notch your grandmother's polymorph though dr f's is a little bit different these sea pulps will not even be able to attack and then in addition she'll be giving herself the helpful effects on the battlefield to herself so if there's helpful immunity out there um or harmful immunity she'll be taking that and then if she's empowered like she will a lot she will be reducing the uh speed meter by 30 percent also you know that uh polymorph comes with lower speed turn meter so my gosh first two specials gonna be great out the bat her basic is awesome so awesome 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 let's keep going on and checking out what else she can do if you heard that flame noise by the way i'm on twitch in my twitch studio and uh, had a little new follower button come on up so anyway let's jump on over to number four the first passive on the list my friends my poopsies at the beginning of battle summon flotsam and jetsam to the battlefield and then what you're gonna do is steal five percent speed and 20 percent speed meter for this character from the opponent with the highest speed so i love that you're gonna steal that right away you're gonna steal the speed and then you're going to give 20 percent speed meter from this character from the opponent so you're going to steal it and it's gonna be nuts the adjustment to the speed stat lasts for the remainder of the battle flotsam and jetsam each have some great stats those are tentative stats but either way those are some crazy stats guys get this when flotsam or jetsam deal damage to an opponent you're gonna purge one helpful effect and give it back to ursula and she gains 20 percent speed turn meter now now friends let's just get this correct each and every time flotsam and jetsam are going to do damage it's going to give ursula 20 percent speed turn meter so going back to barley let's say you have barley and he calls four people or up to four people to assist three people whatever it might be and he calls ursula and then a couple of the eels well, Ursula is going to be stealing the turn meter, and then she's also going to be getting it from the eels, from Flotsam, Flotsam, and Jetsam. So much potential here. Just an absolutely ridiculous uh, ability in my poopsies, and it's just going to be phenomenal when you combine this with other characters. Again, we're going to get this to a second, but Oceanics, or we're going to get to this in a second, but Oceanics altogether, they're going to be meta. If you haven't invested in them, if you've not been following the channel since July, I've been saying that they're going to be great. Oceanics are the future of the game, and right now it's looking this way. This is probably the last Oceanic to cap up all the ones that we've had thus far, ending the summer months and leading into the winter months but my gosh what an amazing move here let's jump on over to the next ability oh my bad that's a little bit of a peak of the future there uh let's go on over and jump to the next abilities passives is going to be grasping tendrils this ability is unavoidable on start of turn she's gonna be inflicting silence to one random opponent and stealing magic so just with Ursula going right off the batter, you have Hero Hamada grants her to her turn she will be throwing out silence doing a free ability right out the gate and guess what it's unavoidable also vengeance passive c you're gonna see first time an allied plots of adjustment is defeated of this character this is where the empowered comes in 50 percent of max health uh, or reduce or her health is reduced to 50 percent she will be gaining empowered but not only that not only that she'll be cleansing all the harmful effects on herself inflicting blind on all opponents for one turn and then gaining empowered like we just said plus five percent offense and five percent critical chance <laughs> i almost read this and it's like whew, 
I mean, I get why it's going to take some time. Hopefully, we have a we have a few months to, to build the counters up to whatever this is going to be. She's going to be absolutely nuts. We don't know what's going to be released in the upcoming months to maybe counter this to some degree. But we won't have our hands on her for a while. But just at first gr glance, guys, I mean, she just looks phenomenal. I can't get over how good her abilities are going to be. She consistently is going to feed herself uh, speed turn meter. She's going to consistently steal it. She's going to be purging, doing AoE blinds, giving herself effectively a whole turn where no one can do anything. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. But let's talk about, you just saw it quickly for a second there, but let's talk about the upcoming future of these beautiful futures for these characters. First of all, you've got Captain Papa Gantu. We've talked about him plenty, guys. He's going to be giving tactics out. He's an oceanic villain, so he'll be getting both bonuses from the lead. Giving tactics out and countering whenever uh, any of the eels or Ursula gets hit. You have Hook, who's got the passive. Now, Hook, I've seen a lot of things talked about Hook in the past. Previously, he's a little bit too squishy, so maybe throw a health stone on him, and he'll still get the bonus attack from her lead. But she can go ahead and gain... Uh, she can get passive turn meter through uh, Hook's passive, and also she, uh, Hook can call them to assist. Bubbles also has tactics. Wow. Bubbles is going to be nuts. He's already insane, but Bubbles will be able to cleanse. You're going to have the double silence on the team. And my gosh, you've got Davy Jones, which he alone deserves his own spotlight altogether. If you haven't already, go and check out the spotlight that I just did about him. But Davy Jones, let's just talk about it. Davy Jones is going to be meta by far. Let's see why. Well, first of all, you have Do You Fear Defeat. If you look at this ability, this is going to do 10% more bonus damage per Oceanic Villain teammate so he'll be summoning the dead hammer got nerfed so his revives that much better but you've got ursula you got the poopsies out there you could be seeing some massive damage under the lead under the crit damage power up i mean davy jones i'm excited he's gonna be absolutely meta so all together ursula looks to be dominant guys i'm excited to see exactly what she can do in battle it's gonna take some time my friends but if you haven't already go ahead and hit that sub button if you enjoyed the channel i'll be going live here on twitch shortly later today around noon ish 2 p.m uh somewhere between that time probably 2 p.m uh pacific standard time daylight savings has got me all messed up excited to go into the raids for the first time if you want all news for everything raids guys get ready gear up be ready and until next time my friends Stay cozy.